Hello, this is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. We are intraday right now, and this is our weekly swing trade ideas video where we bring you stocks based on a variety of technical trade setups or just general market observations. And as always, these videos are sponsored by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. We curate all of our long ideas using stocks from their stock lists, and you can get access to those lists with a link in the description of this video. So we've got a couple of things going on here. We've got obviously the turn of the new year and we've got some interesting market flows and dynamics I wanna talk about. And right before I hit record, we're also getting a little bit of pickup in selling volume here across the indices. I'm recording this a couple of hours before the market closes. So let's take a look at a couple of things. First that I wanted to mention was some of the similarities between how we're starting off this year and how we actually started off the year last year in 2021 namely and i'm sort of cherry picking a bit here not everything is falling into line but i do want to sort of mention here like if we take for instance energy which uh, is is you know off to a strong start of the year you can see it broke out to new highs and you can see this nice you know just sort of ramp that we've seen here uh at, at the turn of the year obviously we're reversing as i write this now but it's been a strong performer. If we dial it back to what things looked like back at the start of 2021, January, you can see energy, which again ended up being one of the biggest leaders, performers of the year for 2021, had this very strong start. If we take a look at financials and we take a look at the January 2021 March year for financials to start things off, we had the first week or two where financials broke to those new highs and started to take out the old highs there um, pre-COVID. If we take a look at what financials are doing right now, you can see that we've got this nice run that started to lead this market higher, trying to take out those highs. Again, maybe some turbulence right now as I record this. Let's take things from the flip side. Let's take a look at technology. Technology to start off this year has, has been the underperformer. In fact, it's primarily what's getting sold off right now. You can see that we're on this downward slope to start the year. And if we take a look at January of 2021, you can see that technology, same thing, was pretty much down to sideways here to start our, start off the new year, and therefore was not performing, was not leading. You can also take a look at TLT, and you can see at interest rates and what credit markets and the bond market was doing. If we take a look at what we're looking at here to start off the year, you can see this big selling pressure and we're going down. If we take a look at January of 2021, you can see that we started a fresh leg lower here to start off the year as well. So those are just some of the examples, observations. There's definitely some more things that are aligned and there are some things that are different. I don't wanna draw total, you know, um, identical parallels. We're in a different environment for sure, but you can certainly see that there are some relationships that are very much intact here with tech being weak and you've got the inflation and sort of real world industries, let's call it sectors of the market that are working right now. Okay, now with that, let's let's talk about the market indices at a high level here for just a second. Uh, we can see We've got the Dow now in sell mode. Looks like it's filling yesterday's gap. So coming back down and uh, filling that gap, but still, you know, kind of broke out here and helped lead the charge to start the new year. If we take a look at the Russell, uh, the Russell 2000, you can see we're getting sort of a clear sort of breakdown rollover at the top end here. So again, if we draw, say, this little, um, you know, uh, level here that the market has been kind of consolidating flagging above you can see we're starting to break down right now you can see the s p 500 coming back down to around 472 and you've got the Qs, which again is that tech side and now breaking back down falling comfortably back into this old range that it's basically been in since the start of november so the Qs here underperforming structurally you know if you want to zoom out and give it enough time it's 
consolidating at highs, a little bit volatile, a little bit more messy, but you know, um, still just kind of hanging in the same range that we've been looking at. Now, a couple of individual stock ideas. So running through the scan, so we've got a bunch of different TC2000 scans. They're all on our website. So if you're a TC2000 user, you can check out those scans. But the bearish scans, the short-term bearish scans are definitely lighting up today. So I wanted to bring a few of those ideas to you on um, what's showing up. First is UAA. Uh, this is really a, a sort of you know, uh, perfect looking kind of breakdown here of what could be this bear flag. So this is hitting our uh, pullback weakness scan. It's basically our bear flag scan and it's on our website. And what it's essentially looking for is a stock that's in a downtrend, a stock that has recently, you know, retraced higher, sort of flagged out in that traditional sense and is now starting to roll over. You also have UAA here at the bottom end of a, a range. So this has got some some double sort of consequences on it. This is a short term scan. So, you know, basically if you're looking to play this, the way you'd be looking to express this or, or really the move here is, is looking for kind of a move back down to, you know, around 20 bucks or so. And then icing on the cake is if you can actually get a breakdown below there. So UAA that's hitting our bear flag scan again, please do your homework and research. Make sure you're comfortable shorting stocks. You're comfortable with the setup. You've looked at everything. These are not you know, in this case, short blindly um, recommendations at all. If we take a look at General Motors here, General Motors is hitting our high volume scan today. In fact, this is our high volume week close scan. So you can see, you know, we're recording this a few hours before the market closed and we're already running at uh, almost double the average one month volume. You can see the big expansion in range here as it has been the past several days. So this has had a really, really strong move here. 25% run in about 14, 15 trading days. Again, this is General Motors, not a small cap tech company. So you've got now this high volume reversal that is coming in at a resistance area here. If you wanna be a defined risk sort of bear on this name, I think you've got the ingredients for what could be a potential short setup. Again, back maybe down into the low 60s. Again, please do your homework. Last but not least is BA Boeing. This is hitting our gap up week close scan. So if we take off these old poorly drawn trend lines here, we can see that Boeing is in fact, well, I guess let's throw back on one of those poorly drawn, drawn trend lines. You can see, you know, this has kind of been where this has been grinding lower lows, lower highs over the past 10 months, eight months or so. And you can see now we've had this nice move off of the lows. We're back up towards sort of this resistance area where the stock has found sellers. And now you can see it, it opened up high, tried to push higher and is now reversing lower. So you've got a stock in a downtrend. It's worked off those, um, oversold conditions over the past couple of weeks and now it's reversing at a sort of more favorable point so again this is a shorter term tactical bearish scan gap up week close that's what is called on our website if you're looking for it and those are your three bearish tactical trade ideas for this week so that's what i've got those are some thoughts on the midweek market action let me know what your thoughts are let me know about what you're seeing out there. Leave a comment. Love to read them. As always, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching every Wednesday trade ideas just like this. Don't forget to check out those stock lists in the description of our video for our sponsor, Investors Business Daily. Take care of yourselves.